हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेडिकल क्या द फाइनल स्टॉप फॉर ऑल योर मेडिकल क्यूरीज आई होप एवरीवन इज गुड एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ देमसेल्फ प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल इफ नॉट डन ऑलरेडी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन टू रिसीव द फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग रिफ्लेक्स व्हिच कैन बी सीन इन वेरियस आई सर्जरीज ऑक्यूलो कार्डिक रिफ्लेक्स इन दिस वीडियो we shall be studying about what is this reflex what are the afferent pathways and efferent pathway of this reflex and how do you manage if such reflex occurs so guys let's go and study about oculocardic reflex so what is oculocardic reflex it is a trigeminal vagal reflex which result in bradycardia junctional rhythm or asystole Secondly, to the traction on the eye, which means whenever there is a traction to the eye, trigeminal vagal reflex is activated, which can result in bradycardia, junctional rhythm, or asystole. It occurs in various eye surgeries such as strabismus, cataract surgeries, patient with ocular trauma, while doing ocular manipulation, or in surgeries such as e nucleation or e visceration. in all these kind of surgeries oculocardic reflex can be seen so friends let's see the various afferent and efferent pathway of the oculocardic reflex in this when the x ocular muscles are stretch then the long and the short serrated nerves are stimulated which leads into ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve which lay in the ganglion known as gastrin ganglion after which it leads into the main sensory nucleus of the trigeminal nerve in the fluid of the both ventricle then the efferent pathway start by the motor nucleus of the vagus nerve vagus as you know is a parasympathetic nerve leading to negative anotropic and chronotropic effect and hence depresses the cardiac muscles so friends till now we have studied what is oculocardic reflex what are the conditions in which oculocardic reflex can be seen and uh, what are the various afferent pathway and efferent pathway friend there is a classical track of oculocardic reflex which include bradycardia nausea and syncope so this is the classical triad of oculocardic reflex now friends how will you manage the oculocardic reflex in patient undergoing eye surgeries First and foremost we will tell the surgeon to stop manipulating the extraocular muscle. Most of the time by doing this the oculocardic reflex subside. We can always deepen the plane of anesthesia also. After which we should avoid all the triggering factors which can trigger the oculocardic reflex. All these conditions mostly revert the oculocardic reflex normally within 20 to 30 seconds. So within 20 to 30 seconds the OCR reflex will subside. But if it does not then medication such as injection atropine or glycopyrrolate can always be given. And lastly CPR is done if it is systolic develop as it helps to recirculate the atropine. So CPR is done as a last resort to circulate the atropine injected. So thank you guys for watching this short video on oculocardic reflex. I hope everyone understood this lecture well. Please do subscribe our channel if not done already and press the bell icon button to receive the further notification. Kindly do follow us at www.medicogyan.co.in and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Thank you.